The nearly dry spillway, closed now for two days, has dried up the Feather River, allowing crews to remove millions of cubic yards of debris and engineers to finally see the tremendous damage. The sudden drop in water level is also causing unexpected problems downstream. When they shut off the spillway gates, it left probably tens of thousands, if not more, of fish stranded in little pools outside of the river channel and they couldn't get back. Fish and wildlife workers from around the state are using aerial photos and more than a dozen boats to locate these hidden pools, searching for endangered salmon, steelhead, and other fish, all while the river continues to drastically drop. It's muddy, dangerous, and the fish are not cooperating. The fish don't want to be caught. Most of these are wild fish that were spawned in the river, and they know the gig. They want to get away from something that's trying to get them. This special electrical stun rod gives them a small jolt. Then the workers take the baby salmon back to the main river. Yesterday we saved 800 fish. This draining river is also revealing for the first time major new sandbanks that weren't there before. Sections of forest destroyed by the deluge and trees still floating downstream. This is the power of Mother Nature right there. So. Well, there's over a billion dollar industry in salmon fishing, so it's, it's critical that we try to save as many fish as we can. The Department of Fish and Wildlife says that this fish rescue operation is going to continue for the rest of the week or until it starts raining. In Yuba City, Don Ford, KPIX 5.